Hi guys. One of the features added to NGUI 360 is a prefab toolbar that you see here. Now just by its name you can probably guess what it does. But just uh, to explain, I made this video. It is basically a window that you can position, resize, however you feel like, where you can actually drag prefabs onto and out of to conveniently create user interfaces or just any scenes using the regular game objects if you prefer. It is completely customizable and it is not limited to UI obviously as you can see by these 3D objects here. What you put on the toolbar is really up to you. So how to actually use it? Well, let me explain. Let me start a brand new scene here. And of course add some objects here. So a directional light and say uh, uh, just a cube is fine. So here I've got a cube and I want this cube to be a prefab for example. Well the easiest way to do that is to drag it onto the toolbar. This will prompt you uh, for where to actually save it. So for example if I wanted to just place it in the assets and call it new prefab I'll do just that. And now you can actually see your newly created prefab showing up in a toolbar. You can arrange it however you like, position it wherever you prefer, it doesn't matter much. And of course you can drag this newly created prefab back into the scene like any other game object. If you want to remove it, you can do just that. If you want to filter the list, you can actually use the search field. So for example, button, I only wanted to see buttons you can change the mode of the toolbar to be something else. There are three modes right now, but I'm probably going to add more. Icon just gives you bigger icons so you can see what's going on better. And the detailed mode just gives you the names underneath the icons. More advanced users can even specify where the camera is going to be for these screenshots. So for example here I've created something that looks like a slider and I want to save it as a prefab and hit play just to update in this case. Now by default you will notice that it looks difficult to determine what it actually is because it happens to be such a long uh, widget. Now you can actually fine tune this quite easily. You do that by adding a child object and giving it a specific name and GUI snapshot point followed by either one or three values. If it's a one uh, value then it's going to be an orthographic camera which is ideal for UI objects. If it's three values then it's near, far, clipping planes and the field of view. So for a 3D object, 3D camera. In this case it's a UI element so I'm going to stick with a single value. This value determines the orthographic size in pixels. Now I just pulled a value 20 randomly out of my head. I probably should make it 30 though, just in case. So NGUI snapshot point 30. Now I'm going to hit apply on this, hit play just to update everything, and you will notice that I am now zoomed in. Of course I can now move this object to say over here somewhere and hit apply now and it will update accordingly. I can fine-tune exactly where it appears until I'm happy or I can also just increase the orthographic size, hit apply again. Now I can actually see what it is much better and of course it will behave exactly the same. And as I mentioned, it works exactly the same for 3D objects. So here, for example, I've messed up where the position of the camera is by moving the game object. If at any point you want to actually see where the object is, you can either navigate to it or go to Game Object, Align View to Select it. It's just basic Unity functionality. So now the scene view is going to be exactly where the snapshot camera is because I've selected the object 
and use that uh, menu option. So now I want to uh, move it to be something more reasonable, for example. Now I can do that by positioning the camera where I want it to be, like for example here, and doing the opposite. Game object, align with view. It updates the transform. Now I hit apply, hit play to see the changes, and there we go, the icon updated automatically. The actual values here, 0 0.1, 10, and 35, as I mentioned earlier, they're the near clipping plane for the camera, far clipping plane, and the field of view. So if I wanted a wider field of view, say for example 65, I would do just this, hit apply, hit play, and there we go. It now has a much wider field of view. Well, I hope you'll find this feature to be quite useful. Thanks for watching, and until next time.